How certain are you about the nature of reality? Do you ever wonder whether actually there might be something more to this life than just our everyday experience? For many, this line of thinking is more than simply brainstorming for a science fiction novel or overthinking only for the sake of it. It's a genuine and valid possibility. And often it's claimed that all the information we need may be rooted in the early ancient past. This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, did ancient civilizations open a portal to another dimension? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine yourself transported to ancient times. Not to any particular society or even to any particular place, but you're surrounded by the whispers of history all the same. You find yourself standing in front of a mysterious door, an opening, its intricate patterns and ancient carvings hinting at another distant world. How would you feel? Excitement, trepidation, or perhaps a blend of both? Suspicion, incredulity, or full and total confidence that what you're seeing could in fact be a bridge to elsewhere? Clearly all of the above actually is a made up story, but what's bizarre is that there are some real world theories that seemingly fly extremely close to this kind of seemingly sci-fi setup. There are widely told and believed tales where the plot points of a fantasy novel apparently do take place in real life. Today, we're taking a closer look at supposed reported ancient portals. One especially compelling example comes from the pages of religious history, the Ark of the Covenant, which, among other things, has before been billed as hiding some kind of key or opening to a higher plane. Described in the Bible as a sacred container for the tablets inscribed with the Ten Commandments, the Ark is generally said to possess immense power. More specifically for us, though, and according to some interpretations, it's held that it may have functioned as a conduit to another dimension, allowing ancient peoples to communicate with higher beings or even to traverse into otherworldly realms. The allure of the Ark lies not only in its religious significance, however, over time, stories have emerged of many mysterious occurrences apparently linked to its presence, including tales of devastating plagues whenever it's opened and of celestial interventions whenever it's even moved. Of course, fast forward to today and no one knows where the Ark is. Increasing numbers believe that actually it never existed at all. But still, the legends that surround it stand as reference point 101 whenever ancient portals are discussed. Whenever the Ark is mentioned, though, it's usually not long followed by talk of arguably the most iconic link to the ancient past that we still have, the Pyramids of Giza. Now here, the seeming debate over how they were built is long in the tooth and essentially closed. No matter how often it's loosely suggested that aliens may have had a hand in it, the overwhelming majority of archaeologists are certain that that's simply not the case. With evidence of building materials, workers' camps, and pulley systems, we know that these structures are first and foremost testaments to the Egyptians' architectural prowess. And yet there are many potential mysteries that do still remain. And with the Great Pyramid, the Pyramid of Khufu in particular, there is endless speculation that its purpose transcends a mere burial ground for a pharaoh. The complex geometry of this place and its precise alignment with the other two pyramids that flank it are broadly thought to harness cosmic energies, to mirror constellations in the sky, and therefore to be intrinsically linked to far-off stars and planets. Fringe theories range from the pyramid being used as an energy amplifier of some kind, to claims that it was originally built primarily as a beacon for extraterrestrial beings. Either way, and with such significance apparently placed on so many aspects of this one site on Earth, huge numbers are convinced that if we ever were to get inside, to properly explore, then some kind of portal or doorway is what we'd eventually find. Built by human hand, yes, but channeled by something else all the same. As special as they are, though, the pyramids aren't alone when it comes to theorists flagging them as potential bridges. The circular configurations of Stonehenge in the UK are also often linked to potentially interdimensional activity, as are the Nazca Lines in Peru, etched into the desert floor as seeming guidelines for higher beings. Perhaps the most convincing claims of portal placement, however, come from deep within the heart of the United States of America, along the miles and miles of rugged wilderness that is the Grand Canyon. On more than one occasion, seeming doorways have been spotted in the canyon, mostly via satellite services like Google Earth. 
and in truth, most have been quickly and convincingly explained away as nothing more than a trick of the light or an unusual, albeit natural, rock formation. The most famous tale of all, however, is told by one Hank Craftsman, who was a student in the 1960s and, after becoming friends with a Hopi Native American named Kopavi, was reportedly led to a genuine gateway to another dimension. Craftsman's portal is said to have been cloaked behind a seeming rock face and, after stepping through, it's claimed that he discovered an entire lost city, otherwise completely hidden from sight. This revelation had supposedly long been known to Kopavi and others in the local native population. It's just the rest of the world that's wholly unawares. But what do you think? From the Ark of the Covenant to the Grand Canyon, is it really possible that mysterious doorways are etched into the fabric of our planet? Let us know your opinion in the comments. There are other potential examples that could yet be added into the mix. In southern Peru, close to the famous site of Lake Titicaca, which is said to have been where the Inca civilization emerged from, there is what appears to be a doorway carved into an otherwise untouched piece of red rock. The Aramu Muru portal, otherwise known as the Gate of the Gods, is notable for its seemingly out-of-place coloring and for some potentially ancient carvings made into the rock itself. If Aramu Muru is a portal, as the legend that surrounds it suggests, then it's long been closed, but some believe that it will one day open again. Meanwhile, and on the other side of the world, there's the holy city of Anuradhapura in Sri Lanka, which is also said to house a gateway. The Sakwala Chakraya, which roughly translates to mean universal circle, is a circular carving drawn into another rock face. The mystery comes, however, as no one is really sure who carved it, when, or what it means. Rumors then abound that it could be another portal, ready to creak open at any moment. Finally, though, we head into the Transylvanian Hoya Forest in Romania. The Hoya has before been compared to the Bermuda Triangle because, like the Triangle, it's a seeming hotbed for strange disappearances and bizarre, possibly paranormal events. With portals in mind in particular, however, there's an infamous circular clearing inside the forest where nothing grows. What's doubly weird is that this clearing has before been linked to sudden headaches, illness, rashes, even memory lapses whenever people spend time in or around it. In general, there are countless local legends surrounding the forest, including that a shepherd and hundreds of sheep once disappeared there, never to be seen again. And a girl once disappeared as well, only to return years later with no knowledge of what had happened to her. There's evidence of early Neolithic communities inside the Hoya, possibly dating to more than 8,000 years ago. With the circle of zero growth in the clearing without trees, could it be that what's actually lurking is some kind of doorway, with its mere presence being enough to so dramatically disrupt the surrounding area? Again, what do you think? With all of these theories and stories, it's important to approach them with balance. One prominent counter-argument is that it's often the case that ancient sites are blindly dismissed as unexplained, as being linked to aliens, or as being evidence of hidden dimensions, in part because modern, mostly Western onlookers, are slow to credit ancient people and groups, believing that their achievements, such as the building of the stone circles or the pyramids, simply must have been powered by otherworldly forces. Could something similar be happening with the various tales of hidden doorways? Perhaps. But on the other hand, our world and our history is littered with mysterious events and locations. And if portals of any kind are possible, then why shouldn't those who came before us have had access to them? What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.